you know, everybody sits there and they look at Beyonce, Knowles Carter. And, and I think they forget that before her, there was me. I think people forget that part. I think people forget that before Sean Carter became who Sean Carter became, there was a concert called MTV Unplugged when he was still just a corner boy drug dealer trying to make it and trying to make it into corporate America. And the performance that Jaguar Wright gave was so pristine that it allowed corporate America to see him as something other than what he was. I think people forget that part because you can't say Jay-Z Unplugged without saying Jaguar Wright. And more importantly than that, is it possible that maybe everyone's missing the fact that maybe I helped make him? You know, it, it wasn't the Mary J. Blige performance that made those corporate dollars come rolling in. No, it was Jay-Z Unplugged. Matter of fact, Jay-Z Unplugged was so dope that we had to do it at Madison Square Garden. Went on the road with it. Turned into a movie that was on Showtime. And maybe I just didn't want to sign that contract with my own blood like Beyonce Coles, uh, uh, Knowles Carter had to do. See, all money ain't good money. I could be just like her right now, doped up, drugged up, being pulled out the stable to make more money for my pimp. But I told that nigga, marry her. Because this ain't what you want. And I already got a God that I serve. See, I love the fact that people are so busy praising what they see. I mean, he's a master magician. He's been, he's been able to almost get everyone to forget that he was chasing Aaliyah and she didn't want him. She wanted game. While he was running around with her abuser. Nobody made Jag other than God. But Jag made a lot of people. Jay-Z ain't make me. I made him. What's up? I wanted to say this really quick about this. Um, Cause it hit me. I'm like, Jack, first of all, you, you know what I'm saying? You want this notoriety. You want this respect. You want people to look at you this type of way. Right. When you did your thing back in the days, you know what I'm saying, with the little stuff you did. But you ain't, now that now that I think about it, Jack, you ain't really put no work in like that to be wanting motherfuckers to respect you to that certain level. Like, you just been out here working real hard and ble you sweat, sweat blood and tears, you know what I'm saying? And you just, you know, like, we need to just, what? She want all of this you know what I'm saying? Like, she's supposed to be acknowledged or some shit when she ain't did nothing. You want this for what? You ain't did nothing like that for to be wanting somebody to respect you. Like, you just, you know what I'm saying, was in the industry, really. You know what I'm saying? Just doing your thing like that. Like, you wasn't even putting in no work like that. She wasn't putting in no work like that. But she wants somebody to look at her like she just the person behind all this and this is who I made and I did this and I did that and this person wouldn't be like this because of me and what? Like what? Mm. What have you? I, am I the only one? Am I the only damn one? Like, she just top writer who just been putting in work, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, ain't nobody really gave her, you know, no recognition or nothing. She won't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you like oh, you know what I'm saying? They did me wrong. I, I put all this in it, and you know what I'm saying? And this is how they do me. It's like, you... Yeah. And then for you to be saying, you're talking about you the one who made Jay-Z. Like, are you fucking serious? And she talking about she the one who told Jay-Z, no, he need to marry Beyonce because she ain't the one and she ain't going for it. <laughs> 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 
Like, she turned Jay-Z down and shit. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z was, like, still trying to holler Jay-Z, bugging her and shit. You know, trying to hit her up. She had to change her number on Jay-Z and shit. Jay-Z just trying to, you know what I'm saying, just put a ring on Jack and shit. Jack, if you don't get the fuck up out of here, what is you talking about? Girl, you have literally lost your motherfucking mind. Like, you know, ain't no, all this, oh, you know, Jack, she did sing, and, you know, yeah, she did, and then, okay, she did a little, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody about to be looking at her like she, what the fuck? Like, she just got a whole record company out here and shit, and, you know what I'm saying? She was a, the number one record company for Motown, and, you know what I'm saying? And everybody was on her label, and, you know, all of a sudden, ain't nobody giving her the recognition she wanted. And you know what I'm saying? She was so and so producer and she was the hood. I mean, Jag, like, you got to really do some shit to really be to somebody to just, you know what I'm saying, give you your flowers and shit. Fuck wrong with you, girl. You ain't did nothing for no. The only thing they be giving y'all flowers was goon, but that's it. You ain't, other than that, what the fuck is wrong with you? You really expect that when you ain't did shit. You still going to know what you did. Do you stop doing that? Whatever you was doing then, you stopped doing it. You did your little thing. You really wasn't even working that hard then either. Hell, when all that I think about it. Yeah, because we can't find too many damn things with your ass. Uh, You know what I'm saying? Really putting in that damn work like that. Because we will be able to go back to it. You, you, we will see it. Okay, shit, damn. Yeah, Okay. Everybody, we could go look them up. Okay, they did this. Okay, they did that. Oh, wow. Then they did. Oh, I didn't know they did that. Oh, wow. They did this too. Oh, wow. Girl, you got a couple of things. Oh, okay. She did that. She did that. Oh, okay. Okay. I know. And that's it. That's it. Fuck you. On, huh? It's like somebody supposed to be bound down to your ass. What the fuck? She want everything easy. She don't want to put no hard work in the shit. She just want it easy and then want people to just give her that respect and shit. Girl, that's not how fucking life work. Get your ass up. What the fuck? You just want to be promoted for nothing, for not showing up to work, for being late. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for always saying, being the first one to ask the fucking manager, can I leave? If y'all, um, if it's not, be, I want, I want to be the one to leave. Yeah. You, every chance you get, you asking, can you leave first and shit? Coming in work late, then the first one to ask them, supervise, can you leave if it's busy? And, you know, you the first one, you the last one, they'll call for some, you know, overtime or we need you to come in. Can you help us out with it? Yeah, they ain't thinking about calling your ass for none of that. But you want to be promoted. Yeah, yeah, you want you want them. Why ain't nobody trying to promote me? Why I'm still stuck at this position? That's why. What the fuck? You know what, y'all? Mm.